All right, as you can see, we have all of our equipment set up here on the table. We've got our uh, long run of data cable. We've got our short practice cable. We've got our two-piece power supply going to the camera. We've got our USB key. We've got our wireless transmitter and receiver. We've got our USB audio plug, audio cable, and we've got our computer. First thing we want to do is plug in our USB audio key. Next, we're going to plug in our audio cable to the back of the receiver. We'll plug this into the other end into the mic in on the USB audio plug. We'll plug that into the back of the computer. And then for this demonstration, we've already run our long data cable to where the camera is going to be mounted. And so now we're going to put the camera up on there and uh, get a live picture. Now that we've connected the data cable to the computer, we start up our program, make sure that we have a live picture. Now we're seeing a live picture and we're ready for fine tuning and alignment on the finish line. All right, now that we've locked down our uh, camera and got it aligned with the finish line, uh, you can simply go to the calibration tool and the drop down menu, select vertical only, and there's your finish line, and you can leave it at that. All right, now that we've locked down our computer and gotten our finish line, we're going to go to our race results tab, and import our EVT file from our meat management software. I'm going to select the next event on the track. Now for this demonstration, we're going to simulate the start of a race by just giving a sharp blow into the wireless transmitter. First I have to arm the system, control F12, confirmation that the system is armed and ready to go. Now I'm going to give a sharp blow into the transmitter. You can see and get confirmation that the system was triggered, the time code is running. As the athletes approach the finish line, I start recording, hit my space bar for a live bookmark. Stop, activate the timeline by clicking on the button, control, right arrow key, I jump right to that spot, and I use my left and right arrow keys to go frame by frame to get them right at the finish line. I hit my three key, time is auto-populated there. For this purpose, say we've read all of the athletes in this event, I hit my save times button, I save it in the TF Meets folder, the name of the event that was just read. I go back to a live image, I select the next event on the track, arm the system, control F12, and we're ready to start the next race.